God's commands to born again ones how you ought to live your life. Acts 2.41 Then they that gladly received his word were baptized and the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Now the instruction of the church in Matthew 28 Win them to Christ and baptize them. And here, a bunch got saved and they willingly got baptized. First Peter 2.2 2. Therefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies, hypocrisies and envies and evil speaking as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that he may grow thereby. Commands to born again believers. Laying aside certain things and doing another thing. You know, my wife and I joined the church. We got saved, we joined the church. And every, we found out every place where people were taught the word, teachers meeting, other, other places, we got in it not because we wanted to do anything, we just wanted to learn. We desired the word of God. Second Peter 3.18, grow in grace in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Romans 1, 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Then you got Romans 10, 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So that leads us to Colossians 3.16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Some more things that God expects in our lives as born-again Christians. 2 Timothy 2.15 Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. James 1.22 But be doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving, your own selves. You read, think, meditate, study, and all of that's to lead to the doing. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and a sin which has so easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. 
It's interesting if you will notice, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. He looked to heaven. He looked at those that would believe and trust in him, those that he died for, were born again. He wanted them to be with him. And heaven was full of them that had put their trust in him. And they were the joy and rejoicing of his heart. First Thessalonians chapter 5, 19 to 23. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesy. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Prove all things. Prove the theory behind the interpretation of a passage of Scripture. Prove all things and hold fast that is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 2, 11 and 12. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from freshly lusts which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, Glorify God in the day of visitation. Matthew 10, 16 and 20. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents, harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils. They will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you at that time, at that same hour, what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of God which speaketh in you. Precious promise. Colossians 3, 14 to 17. Forbearing one another, forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. I'll tell you what. Singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Oh, fire of love, oh, flame divine, Make thy abode in me, 
burn in my heart, burn evermore, till I burn out for thee. Yeah. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly. Let your moderation be known unto all men, Philippians 4, 5. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are a good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The scripture tells us that. And here he's telling you how to get your mind straight. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Paul promises. Acts 2, 42. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul. Many wonders and signs were, do, were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common. They sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. Romans 12, 1 and 3. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is a good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly. Ephesians 5, 16, 20. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Be not drunk with wine, or in his excess, but ye be filled with the Spirit the commands of God to every born-again believer. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 4, 15 and 16. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is ahead, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies, according to the effectual working and the measure of every part, making increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. 
Ephesians 4, 24, 32. We are now created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. For we are members one of another. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. The commands of the Lord to all born again ones. Be angry, sin not, let not the sin go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor working with his hands the thing which is good that may have given to him that needeth. One of the songs I put down here. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. He said he'd be my comfort. He said he'd be my guide. I looked at my hands and they looked new. Looked at my feet and they did too. Said it's that wonderful day. I've been satisfied. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. For that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you're sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking put away from you with all malice. Be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Colossians 3, 12 to 17. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any. Even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. Colossians 3, 12, 17. It's a powerful verse. And above all these things, put on charity, which is a bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also you are called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Hebrews chapter 4, 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. Ephesians 5, 25 to 28. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. Colossians 3, 1 and 9. If ye then be risen with Christ, 
Seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on the things above, not on things on the earth. For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye be, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things say the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. And in which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not to another, seeing you put off the old man with its deeds. Matthew 6, 19 and 21. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through or steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6, 31. 33. Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or, whether with all shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. 1 Corinthians 3, 6 to 23. I have planted, Paul said, the polished water. <clears throat> But God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, <clears throat> neither he that watereth, but God that gives the increase. One man plants, one man waters, but God gives the increase. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God. You are God's husbandry. You are God's building. According to the grace of God which, given, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let, let every man take heed how he buildeth thereon. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stone, Wood, hay, stubble. Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, 
he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in, it, in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Revelation 22, 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that may have that they may have right to the tree of light, and may enter, may enter into the gates of that city. Commands to believers, rewards to believers. God loves us the joy of being obedient to the Lord and having him reward us, reward us for every work that we do for him. God in heaven, bless those that see these scriptures May they come alive in their hearts. And I know you said, Lord, you send the scriptures to accomplish that which you want accomplished. And they'll not fail. They'll not return void. My humble part is to read them, to couple them together. Bless, Lord. Those that read them, again I pray in Jesus' name, amen.